Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome to my channel. Today the car that I have for you is the Mercedes-Benz 2021 Mercedes-Benz AMG GTC 63. A lot of people were asking that you review Mercedes, you're a big fan of Mercedes. Where is the sports car, the iconic sports car for Mercedes, the GT? So today I have the GTC and it's the convertible version so I can get more views at the inside. So let's not waste any time, let's start the full in-depth review. So let's start the review with the front fascia of the car. The car's width is 2007 mm. I'm gonna get inside, turn on these LED headlights. So here we are. Putting the car in ignition with the key. Boop. So this is the full light with the hazards of the car. This is the high beam, this is with the high beam off, high beam on, high beam off. So now let's come outside, let's show you the headlights of the car. So this is the main headlight. This is your daytime running lights and your main headlights. This is the starting model of the GT. So these get the normal LED lights, but you can get an exterior lighting package. That's the option on this car. So then you can get the multi-beam LED headlights. Because it's a North American spec, you have the reflector and the side light and AMG written inside. The car has six sensors at the front with the Panamericana grille that you can see here with AMG badging here. And for two parking sensors at the grille, a big radar at the front with the Mercedes-Benz star here and here. If you guys see the aerodynamics on this car, this is a radiator. This is for improving the aerodynamics. Like this car looks so aggressive. This front portion is fully black. Why? Because this car gets the AMG night package. This part, these are in black. But if it didn't, it would be chrome. But in a GT car, it should have AMG night package. So now we're done with the front actual front fascia of the car. If we come up, the hood is so long. The GT is a front mid-engine car. So the engine is slanted here, not here. So it's a front mid-engine car. So that's why the hood is so long. The GT started from the Mercedes-Benz SLS, then the SLS got discontinued. And then now we have the GT and the final edition of the GT is the GT Black Series. Now we are done with the front fascia of the car. There are some vents on the hood because this car has a big 4 liter V8. When it produces a lot of heat, these help getting the heat out from the engine and making it cooler so it can give the most amount of performance that it can. Now let's check out this beast's engine. So now let's show you guys the engine first. So opening the hood, I have to do it from the driver's side. So there, and then there's a clip at the front and if I lift up you can see this massive V8 engine there so this engine it's a I have a lot of things to say to you this car has a handcrafted 4.0 liter twin turbo V8 engine that is powering the rear wheels seven speed dual clutch transmission that was from the first at the GT car of the Mercedes-Benz but this is not the first engine that they gave first from 20 from 2017 to 2019 that is this car right here it had a 5.5 liter twin turbo v8 but now mercedes converted to the 4 liter twin turbo v8 so you can see amg badging right here on the either side handcrafted by the name who built it this car i mean the engine and then you can see the twin turbochargers right here and for how much heat it produces you can see for the all of the heating the weight distribution of this car is 46 at the front and 54 at the rear so that's the weight distribution the horsepower from this engine is 550 horsepower and 502 pound feet of torque you can get more powerful engine on, on the amg gt this is the gtc so if you get the gtr it gets more power and the black series gets over 700 horsepower that's a lot for the ventilated, ventilating for the turbo, all of the air that comes from the grill comes up here, cools the radiator, gets in here, and then it straight up goes to the turbocharger. So the turbocharger can be cooled as fast as it can. And then you can see another over here. This is also for cooling the air filter right here. So these are for the 
you can see the air vent these are functional now let's close it so get it closer and then there you go that's it for the front of the car now let's check out this long side profile so the length of this car is 4551 mm now let's show you the wheel so this car gets michelin pilot super sport cup tubes tires at the front and these are 265 35 r 19s the brake diameter is 319 millimeters at the front with six piston amg carbon ceramic brakes that you can see here and the brake discs are ventilated at the front you get double over one suspension that is very sporty to drive this car on the track you have this v8 bi turbo written so you can tell everyone i have a v8 under the hood so don't try to race me in the highway you honda civic users Damn! actually a real van this is actually for good looks and then the wheelbase of the car is 2660 mm and the ground clearance of this car is 3.5 inches and because this car has the amg night package this is fully black black mirrors for the night package and you have your hazards light right here so if i just turn that on right there with blind spot monitoring and lane keep assist and because it's a coupe it obviously gets frameless door but the window's down right now chrome door handles very nice accent with this polar white color the rear wheels are more thicker than the front because it's a rear wheel drive car so 305 30 r20s with your amg four piston calipers and amg written right here and these are the 2019 inch multi-spoke wheel in matte black for the fuel tank i have to go on the other side so so for opening the fuel tank if the car is unlocked just tap here and then it opens and the fuel tank capacity is 65 liters for this car there that's going to be it for the side profile now let's check out this rear so the height of this car is 1266 mm now i'm going to show you the rear tail lights so it's fully led i'm going to get inside turn them on so here i'm inside let's put the car in ignition so boop and there you go so this is with the full light and with the hazard this is with the brake and this is without the brake. Now let's come outside and show you the back. I'm gonna put it in race mode. So this is your rear tail light right here. This is the hazard because in North America and America you get red color hazards, but in Asia you get yellow. You have AMG badging right here with another reflector here. Very nice rear design of tail lights. It's more advanced than the last generation. AMG badge here, upper stop brake light here, that's why there's a curve. You have your GTC badge here. Very nice. And the rear tail lights is pretty good. You have four sensors at the back. This is a non-functional vent. You have quad tips that are functional. So you can see there are two tips under. You have AMG written on top, a reflector placement here, and then you can see your real quad tips. It sounds pretty good, but I can turn this on on the showroom. This is your reversing light back here. Number plate slot with two lights here. That's going to be it for the back. This is a functional vent. Air comes out. And for the boot space of the car, there should be a button here. There isn't. I have to press a button at the inside. So oh, there, the boot is open. Let's pick it up. You have hydraulic struts. You have decent amount of storage, not that much, but this is a roadster. You have a soft top hood right here. That's also very important. So you have your first aid kit right here, your first aid kit and that's the amount of storage you have. On the other side, you have a subwoofer and an emergency boot release if the battery runs out on the car. No one's gonna be stuck here because there's not enough storage. This is a light placement and this is for closing it. There, the swing actually goes up if you drive it in Sport Plus or if you go fast enough. That's gonna be it for the exterior. Now let's get inside. So now we are at the inside of the car. This car has signal white and black contrast Napa leather seats with bucket seats at the front that are made for AMG cars. So let's start with the dash. You have a black dash with white stitching. You have airbag written right here and it's very nice. You have an AC vent here. This is closer and opener and you have a glove box that if you just press it's going to open. You have your ashtray and all of the AMG stuff inside because this is a brand new car. Then. If you come to the seats, seat controls are here. You have to control it. So it is powerly adjusted, but it's the AMG bucket seat. So you can see AMG written here and you have this metal finish and an air scruff. That's very nice. Next, 
if I didn't show you the wing for opening the rear spoiler, there's a button here that I have to hold. And then there it is up. And then for closing it, I have to press this button again. There it's closed. Very nice. So you have some controls here at the center. This is for the volume of the car. So I could turn down the volume and turn it up. This is for the auto start stop off or just on. I'm going to leave it on. This is for the wing. This is for if you want the valves open or the valves closed. This is the gear knob to drive, neutral, reverse and park. Very nice tiny thing. This is for controlling the infotainment with shortcut buttons. You can get optional extra touchpad. This is for the drive mode. So this is on comfort, sport, sport plus and race. And you also have individual. This is for if you want to drive in manual or automatic. This is for the suspension because it is adaptive dampers. So Sport Plus, Comfort or Sport. This is for the traction control. So if you want it off, you have to press and hold it. And there it's off. I'm going to turn it back on. Because whoever is driving this car with traction off, he's going to slip 100%. Two cup holders here with a USB for charging your mobile devices. And if you don't need it, just press this. It's going to close. Mid control menu. So you can control the temperature of the car. This is for the AC on, no outside air in, sync, the both climate control, this is for your windshield heater. This is for if you want the menu here. Then this is for the front windshield heater, auto, if you want the air, wind speed high or low, where you want the air, and this is for the temperature for the driver. Heating seat, ventilating seat, this is for the aircraft because it's really cold outside. This is for the cameras of the car, so this is the front wide view. This is the front straight view, rear view, and rear wide view. So I'm just gonna press that. This is the hazard, this is the parking sensors off, and this is for passenger. So from the infotainment, you can control some climate control. So how you want the climate control, medium, poor, so like, like whatever you want, you can control it from here. Then four AC vents, like typical, typical Mercedes Benz with closers and openers here. And then this is your rear view mirror with a garage opener here, and it is auto dimmed. Two light placement up here that are for the reading lights here. I don't know why this dealership always puts my favorite songs on their speaker. And then if you just press here, this is the big song. I mean the big light, sorry. This is for if you open the door, the light don't turn on. This is for closing the hood and opening it that I'm showing you in a little bit. This is for SOS emergency. Two microphones up here for the voice command and it is fully Arcantara. Get this down, you have a rear view mirror, I mean a vanity mirror that has a light placement right here if you hold this there. And I can just see my face, yeah. That's it, it's a tiny thing. Then, now let's focus on the infotainment. So it is a 10.5 inch infotainment, it's the old MBUX. Not MBUX, it's their infotainment. The new one is MBUX. So you have navigation, like, because it's in America, I mean Canada, that's why you can see all of the roads and stuff like that but in Bangladesh it doesn't work there and get out of here you have radio you have media like Bluetooth your phone like Apple CarPlay Android Auto you have Mercedes-Benz app and the vehicle settings and climate control you can do the stuff that I showed you right now driving dynamics you can control your individual you can see engine data oh nice animation like the horsepower and torque right here you can get up to 700 horsepower on this car if you tune it that's amazing and then your vehicle data I'm gonna go out of this you have track pace so when you go on the track you can just turn this on it says warning use on track only if I had this car in Bangladesh I would rip it in Boshantara there so you can search the track if you want to drag race and if you want to see all of the torque figures and you it's acceleration saying 150 mile per hour 300 kilometers so let's do a launch control so it's telling me manually start let's go and there I go but the speed's not going up because I am in a dealership I can drive here so going out of this and I have to go to vehicle settings because there, there's some more stuff so assistant consumption light settings you can control the interior lights from here. So this is for the brightness. So brightness is fully up. And then if I just, this is for all of the designs. So when you turn off the car, 
how many seconds do you want the light on so 15 seconds that's, that's time for the interior lights and this is for the exterior lights what, who keeps it off most dumbest thing i've ever seen the vehicle settings of your digital owner's manual that's pretty much it for the infotainment nothing that much and i show you guys the reversing camera and the parking cameras right there that's pretty much it you have the start stop button here that's pretty nice and you have one here so this is the amg logo embossed and then if you press this it opens with a storage compartment with two usbs and a sd and this is actually a, your key slot because this is the old-fashioned key that i didn't show you so i have to turn off the car for that this is the key so if you are starting the car with this you could just put your key right here and then start it up or you could just twist this to ignition right there and then foot on the brake start the car it does this nice amg thing so the steering wheel the driving point of view like i'm sitting straight up it is the most aggressive thing i've ever sit in so in sports car i've drove in the i8 i've drove the mustang but trust me mercedes is just mercedes like if i drive this car i'm going to blow people's mind you have some controllers here so this is for the drive mode so sport sport plus race and then this is for the wing this is for the cameras, traction control, you have the Sport Plus stuff, and the exhaust, AMG Dynamics, and then you have all of the different controls. AMG written here, you have AMG paddle shifter, so up and down. Oh, when you give it up, it does a nice red thing. Downshift, doesn't do anything, but up, that red, nice. These are all for that, these are all for this. It is powerly controlled, telescope and tilted. There and thank you so much to Mercedes-Benz Brampton for giving me this car so I could do in-depth review of this beast. There. It's pretty nice. Trust me, this car gets so many attention. People are just turning their heads straight on me. Like people are walking in front of the dealership and just looking like what is this kid doing in this very expensive car. So now let's show you the car's instrument cluster. So now let's show you guys the instrument cluster. So let's give the car an ignition. It just turns on like that. So you have three modes. So you have classic. Classic is just you have your RPM here. You have your boost gauge inside. This is the speedo. This is the fuel gauge. This is the engine temperature gauge. It's reminding you the engines V8 by turbo. And you have your outside time, outside temperature. And this is for the speed in kilometers. And this is also in kilometers, 360 top speed, that's a lot. And then you can control like this, so if you want it on sport, or it's the super sport, the best thing ever. And then you can control what you want here, so the date and time, the G-force meter, the boost gauge, the AMG written, tire pressure monitor, your consumption, and the navigation. So I like the boost gauge, it actually looks pretty good. And over here I keep this. And when you change the drive controls, it actually says all of it. So race, Sport Plus, Sport, Comfort, Individual, and Slippery. I'm going to put it on Sport Plus. I mean race. If I could show, let you guys listen to this exhaust, it has a Valvetronic exhaust that is super loud. That's pretty much it. On this side, you have the hazards and the high beam. And on this side, you literally have nothing. So now, let's show you the car's door. So now let's show you the door. So I'm opening the door. You have the AC vent controls here with turning it off and on. You can actually see it. It's like the valve chronic exhaust. Valve close, valve open. These are for your headlight controls. So there. This is for the parking brake and opening the hood of the boot of the car. Brake pedal, this is for brake. This is for gas, this is dead pedal. And you have the speaker here on your foot. Like per master speaker on your foot. So you have 10 way adjustable seats down here and this is for the under thigh supports and stuff like that. AMG written here that illuminates. You have a door pocket here, decent storage. This is a grab handle. Closing the mirrors, you can do it from here so the window closes straight up. And for the other side, there. Then you have the exterior mirror controls that you can close right there. You have your blind spot monitoring because my cameraman is right here on the parking sensor. You have the Burmester speaker here, you can see Burmester, lock and unlock, and this is your door opener. 
full leather and you have an airbag right here and this is for your lock and unlock so we're not done yet i'm not coming out now i'm going to close the soft top and show you how it actually works so for closing it i just press this button i have to press on the brake and then it closes right there completed and then I just close the windows so that is going to be it for the review of this car if you guys like this review make sure you hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and if you need this car contact with Mercedes-Benz Brampton they have this car in their dealership this is also a real window that is heated and that's going to be pretty much it. I am bringing more exclusive cars for you guys. And there are two AMG GTs. One on this side and one here. That's going to be it for this review. Until then, stay safe, stay home. Peace.